Hello, welcome to this redstone video. This redstone video has quite a lot in it, but the main thing is I'm just going to be showing that uh, you can take a redstone strength signal and do division on it. Um, had a bit of a look around, found some things about redstone, but I didn't see much about divisions and remainders. So we just turn around here. We've got a redstone signal here. So if I go to page eight, and I press the button, it will divide my signal by 8. Uh, actually, I might just put the lever on for now. So 8 is 2 lots of 4 and no remainder. If we add 1 to get to 9, we'll go to 2 lots of 4 and 1 remainder. If we go to 11, it will be page 11. It'll be 2 lots of 4 and 3 remainders. Um, Division by a fixed number isn't particularly hard in comparators. So first you have to work out how big is your number. So is there one lot of four, two lots of four, three lots of four? And that's pretty easy to do. You just subtract three in your first one, then four in your second one, and then four again. So that these lights up at four, eight, and twelve accordingly. And you can send the four, eight, twelve signal over here which will basically say, well, if there is 4, subtract 4. If there is 8, subtract another 4. If there is 12, subtract another 4, and that gets you remainder. And as for your division, if there is 4, one of a signal, but let it weaken by 1. If it's 8, send up a signal, so it weakens by 1. 12, send up a signal, reduce by a fixed amount. So basically, if this is on, it's going to be 1 stronger than if it would than if this was on and if this is on it's going to be one stronger than if this was on and then we just have to subtract a fixed amount at the end in this case 11 to get to our division value um, and that's division and remainder uh, multiplication is equally easy so we're putting our signal back together over here so multiplication um, is just addition so if you want to do addition with comparators, you start with a 15 signal so you can count down instead of up. And then anytime you do an addition, you do a subtraction instead. So instead of adding four times, we subtract four times from the 15. And then we take that number away from 15 to get back to our positive number. Um, same again, if you want to subtract a value, if you want to add a value with a comparator, then you subtract whatever you want to add from 15, 16, sorry, 15, sorry, and then add, subtract it again from 15, because 15 minus brackets, 15 minus the value, is the same as 15 minus 15 plus the value, which is the same as 0 plus the value. Um, now, the only other thing I'm going to go over quickly is I will never use this, because it is just too much work to um, take the strength signal turn it into these two wires and send it up there. And if you were watching carefully before, you'll also notice that as we turn the pages, um, and I'll just try to catch it so you can get the video, you'll notice that the clock sort of wavers around at the end. The signal strength will go down and then up and then down. This is because the two lines aren't updating at the same time. Um, so this would make it particularly problematic to actually control anything. Like I could send the value um, as information maybe, but to control something, the lines get out of sync and trying to get them back into sync gets rid of most of the benefits. So if you really want to send a signal of 0 to 15 somewhere, it's probably better to divide it up more like this. So we'll take it back to a 0 signal by turning off the lectern. And what we can do is we can pick an individual value, say 3, and if we turn it on, that one will light up to 3. Or if we go to 15, the last column will light all the way up. So there's only 3 in the last column because 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12, plus 3 is 15. Or we can go 2 down and just light up 1 on the last one. Or 1 further down and light up all of the third one. So what's basically happening here, and this should be fairly flexible for any base, is we take the signal, 
we subtract that signal from 15. We run it a given length, and how far you run it depends on how much signal you want there. So the further you run it, the less lamps you can have. The closer you run it, the more lamps you can have, but, you know, obviously the more redstone you use to get at a certain distance. And all you have to do is, forever, how many lamps you want, when this is on full, that should be at 1. So my recommendation when you're doing this is just simply to put that at full power, not subtract anything to it. Run it out until you've got a 1, go 1 more for your 0, and that's where your first comparator is to get to the lamps. Um, or rather, you know, subtraction of 4. So... If you want to have four lamps, just make sure that that's at four. If you want to have five lamps, make sure that's at five when you do this line and you stop. Um, the only other thing this has is because this will ignore signals that are too low, because obviously if we subtract a lot for that, it'll come back here. And I can sort of show that by picking a high number. turned it on okay turning it on so you can see most of this line turns off so when the number is too high for the amount of signal we have you don't get anything along that line all we have to do to do that is to take that so when that goes zero we turn this light on we fit it into the side of this to turn off the signal so this is a compared and subtract mode so 15 will always zero a comparator in subtract mode and that's what we do so that helps us find out whether the signal is well, we've got one on the verge here, so that's at zero, that's at one. Since that's at one, it's holding the torch off still, which means it allows the signal to do it. If it just decreased one more, it would turn off all the lamps because this would then zero out the comparator. If we turn one more on here, then it would subtract an additional one and it would decrease the signal by one. Um, and the only other thing is, you know, you have to have fixed subtraction. So if you're measuring one, two, three, four on this line, and then after you've sent that off, you have to subtract 4 from your signal so before it goes into whatever next line is. So these are two slices of the cake, and two slices of cake emit a signal of 4. So that's a very quick video showing off um, that multiplication, subtraction, division, and remainders is quite possible with comparators, even though they only do subtraction. Thank you for watching.